They got one shot to make a good first impression and every second counts and there's there's a lot you have to keep in mind in that short amount of time. So joining us this afternoon with her tips on how to make a good impression in just 30 seconds is psychotherapist Dr. Robbie Ludwig. Welcome back to the show. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, well 30 seconds isn't a lot, but you know, yeah. our brains do that though. Even if we don't want to, yeah. I think that happens. So it what does. do you do and why? It's, it's protective really. We are designed to survive. Okay. And so this is something that we learned really early on so up to three years old or at three years old is when people can discern who's comfortable who's not oh, wow okay and it's so we don't have to think about what's dangerous in the world and what's not and so that's why we have that 30 second timeline we just do kind of a, 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 a scan a so scan. so what do you do how do you if you only have 30 seconds on your end to make a good first impression where do you begin I like the term beam positivity. Okay. And we spoke about the power of a smile. And sure. when you actually smile towards someone, they will smile towards you back. Okay. And being alert and aware, noticing the other person, if you have a genuine compliment, share that. If you have something in common, that builds rapport. Right, right. And just paying attention, good eye contact, and noticing the other person is huge. I, I think that noticing somebody is huge. Um, you talk about giving a compliment. How how do you know if the person's genuine? Because I think you've you've just met them and you're thinking, how do they know that about me? How do you know if somebody's genuine? Yeah, I mean, I would say if something sounds cliche, okay. that it may not be right. <laughs> but if it's really specific to you and something that sure. you've done and you feel good about it, it usually is genuine. All right, well, that's a good thing. Yeah. To, all right, so let's say the other person kind of got got the wrong impression of you. Got yeah. you know, you were late. You you said something weird uh, during an interview, <laughs> a first date. What? How do you how do you take back that thirty seconds? First of all, you can apologize and. And say I'm truly sorry if it's a work situation you can say this is what I really feel I have to offer okay. you and also be grateful just thank them for offering you another opportunity to get to know you better because we can rebound from a bad first impression I, I gotta tell you you know that that happens and then you you just gotta be honest like I, I think yeah. that's what it is and not jump around with different excuses or, right. or, or say what you think that they want you to hear um, worst ways that people make a bad impression what do you think those are I think being late is a is a huge one. Being late is a yeah. huge one. Looking at your phone, oh, being a okay. Debbie Downer yeah, is yeah. not a good idea. And um, I think being devaluing, kind yeah. of just dismissive in general. If if you kind of instill a bad mood or just a just bring somebody down, that's never a grand idea or a great impression. That's that, that's that energy suck person, right? Yeah. They just, they just yeah. take, they, they steal the energy from the room. Uh, Dr. Robbie, always good to see you. So good uh, to see always you. Always with a smile, right? Uh, I'm a people person. Yes, so you are. I see other people and I'm like, yay! Yes, you are. I get, get very excited. excited. Well, we get excited to see you. <laughs> All right, for more mental health care tips, you can follow Dr. Robbie on Instagram at Dr. Robbie Ludwig. Of course.